Yo, how's it going everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to tune your drums. This is super simple. There are a bunch of steps you can do, so we're just gonna go over a couple here. The most simple one we'll do first. So take, I mean, most people use cymatic samples, so let's let's take one of these. Diamonds Hip Hop Pack. They usually have their drum loops or in drum one shots and shit marked, you see? Kick D sharp, kick D. So when it's like that, it's simple. You already know the key of the, 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 the sample. So here's this diamond kick. We'll use this one. Okay, so it says it's at A. On FL Studio, this is the simplest way to tune it. I would click this. I, I take load regions and use loop points off. And then I go into the settings. And then down here, you can see, we just need to right click on A to make it the root note. So it's right here. Okay. You can also go up to this A if you want. I just go to the one closest to the C. Oh, that's the thing. If you mess up on this, say you accidentally hit the A, A sharp, you have to hit reset before you click it again. Otherwise, it won't work. Okay. And then to actually make it right, you would go in here. Because if I just did this, it wouldn't be right. Because it's putting it on the C. But when I put it on the A, that's actually how the sample sounds. <clears throat> okay? So that works with um, any sample that has, like, the, the note already attached to it that you can see. Now let's put in a sample that does not have um, the, the key next to it. Go to this Mike Zara stash. Just get a snare this time. Okay. This congrats snare. I'm just going to drag and drop. We're going to put this one in the playlist. Just so I could find out what key it is. To do that, I'm going to right-click it. Go to Edit Sample. It's going to pull up Edison. I can click this and go to Detect Pitch Regions. Okay, that's an A. Now, um, sometimes when you do this, it'll have like multiple notes. It'll have like a say a C up here and then the A. Most of the times when it has like that, that first little thing it's detecting is just wrong. It's usually the second one. Now, another way to just get your drums to be whatever you, whatever scale you want, we'll use a drum loop, for example, but you can use uh, anything. This is the way that I mostly use just because it's quick. Other than that first way that I showed you, um, I use that one too. But yeah, let me just find a drum loop here. So say I want to tune these drums to a certain scale. You can do that. I'm going to route it to a track. I routed it to track four. Click on my mixer button up here. I'm going to rename this. Okay. Now you can put pitcher on it. So I would go over here to the, the inserts, go to slot one, and then put pitcher on that. <clears throat> Now, this is where you can change it to whatever you want. So, say we want it to be A major. We do that, and then I'd move the speed all the way to slow. And then since it's drums, I'll probably put it more towards the male gender since it's lower frequencies. That's super loud. Turn that down. You can hear the difference. Okay, let's try something else. Let's try like a D sharp into tonic. You know, the, I can tell the difference. You just really got to listen and have the ear for it. But then you don't also necessarily need to have a bunch of pitchers on everything. You know, if it's if you just have one shots like that, just pitch it like how I showed you in the first one where you go actually go into it, go into the settings, and just right-click. You can do that for bass as well, all right? As long as you know um, what the 808 is in key. You have to know the original key of the 808. 
Like, see, these are C. Since I know it's C, I can just go in here and put it on G if I wanted to. And then now I have to actually hit that G note, though, not C. If this video helped you guys, make sure you leave a like, hit subscribe, all that good shit. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them down below also. But uh, much love, everybody. Make sure you stay striving on your goals and you always be getting it. Catch you later. Peace.